In a Shanghai assembly hall, the C929 prototype gleams, a bold symbol of China's aerospace ambitions. This wide-body, long-haul jet from Comac is designed to challenge Boeing's Dreamliner and Airbus's A350, ending their decades-long duopoly. The C929 is more than an aircraft, it's a strategic move in China's quest for high-tech leadership and industrial independence. With China's domestic aviation market now accounting for 20% of global demand, Comac has a powerful home base. The C929 aims to carry up to 320 passengers across continents, targeting the most lucrative segment of air travel. Backed by the Chinese state, the project is a pillar of the Made in China 2025 initiative. Industry leaders at Boeing and Airbus are watching closely, aware that a triopoly may soon reshape the skies. The C929's journey from prototype to global player is just beginning, but its ambition is clear to redraw the map of aviation. Comac's rise has been methodical, starting with the ARJ-21 regional jet, a crucial learning ground despite early setbacks. Over 160 ARJ-21s now serve China and Southeast Asia, building operational experience. Next came the C919, a direct rival to Boeing's 737 and Airbus's A320, marking a leap in complexity and ambition. With over 1,000 orders, the C919 dominates China's narrow-body market, providing Comac with a stable revenue stream and a vast testbed. Each new aircraft is a stepping stone, culminating in the C929, which completes Comac's portfolio from regional to intercontinental jets. This progression isn't just about planes, it's about building an industrial powerhouse. Comac's vision extends beyond the C929, with plans for even larger jets and future supersonic concepts. For decades, airlines had only two choices for large jets, Boeing or Airbus. The C929 is the first real threat to this duopoly, promising to shake up pricing, innovation, and global trade dynamics. A third supplier means more competition, lower prices, and faster innovation for airlines worldwide. For developing nations, a Chinese-made widebody could offer attractive financing and political goodwill. The C929 is also a tool for China's technological self-reliance, aiming to reduce dependence on Western technology. Success would shift global perceptions, positioning China as a true innovator, not just a manufacturer. Comac's rise could reshape supply chains and shift economic power eastward. The C929 isn't just a new jet. It's a signal that the era of unchallenged Western dominance in aviation is ending. Building a modern jet is a global effort, but US-China tensions have made reliance on American suppliers risky for Comac. To de-risk, Comac is pivoting to European partners for the C929, firms like Safran, Thales, and Liebherr. The engine is critical. While the C919 uses a US-French engine, the C929 is courting Rolls-Royce for a non-US solution. This European pivot isn't just about technology, it's about gaining market access and embedding the C929 in the global aerospace ecosystem. European partnerships could help Comac secure international certification and make the C929 more attractive to global airlines. By weaving European tech into the C929, Comac is building both resilience and credibility. Each partnership is a strategic bridge to the world market. No matter how advanced an aircraft is grounded without international certification. For the C929, ESA approval is the key to global markets, as FAA certification is unlikely amid US-China tensions. ESA's process is rigorous, requiring transparency and proven safety. Far more demanding for a wide body like the C929. Comac's use of European components could streamline certification, but the process will still be long and challenging. Without ESA's stamp, the C929 remains a domestic player, unable to break the Boeing Airbus hold. Certification is the true test of Comac's maturity and global ambitions. Success would open vast new markets, failure would keep the duopoly intact. The world is watching to see if the C929 can clear this final hurdle. Comac's strategy is gradual. Fly now, indigenize later. The immediate goal is to deliver jets free of US components by 2027, insulating China's market from sanctions. By 2029, Comac aims for a fully Chinese-made aircraft, a symbol of technological sovereignty. Meanwhile, it pursues ESA certification for European-partnered models, running a dual-track strategy. The ultimate vision by 2035, deliver fully Chinese jets to global customers, certified by top aviation authorities. Achieving this means not just building planes, but a global support network for airlines. Each milestone brings Comac closer to joining the aerospace elite. 
Beyond technical and regulatory hurdles, the C929 faces a trust deficit fueled by allegations of espionage and IP theft. High-profile cases have cast doubt on the origins of COMAX technology, making global acceptance harder. To win over airlines and regulators, COMAC must embrace radical transparency, sharing design, testing, and manufacturing details. Building a global support network is also essential, ensuring airlines can rely on parts and service worldwide. The C929's fate will be decided not just in factories but in boardrooms and regulatory offices. Breaking the duopoly means proving the C929 is both safe and trustworthy. The world is ready for a new era in aviation, but only if COMAC can earn its place. The C929's journey is about more than flight. It's about trust, credibility, and the future of global industry. 